my god. Wow. Okay, uh, what's happening actually? Uh, where's Elena? Have you seen her? No? No? Is that her? No. You look nothing like her. That's not her. Okay, where is she doing? We have a shot open. Ah, here I am. Sorry about that. What? What took you so long? Oh, you know, I'm getting ready. Just wanted to uh, look good for our audience. Woo! Woo! Right. Uh, okay. Welcome to our annual multicultural show. Thank you all so much for coming today. Sorry for all the chaos. Me and Tess actually just got back from a crazy trip around the world. And today, we wanted to share some of our favorite memories with you guys. What's with the suitcase? Oh, I have some of the best photos from our trip. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Mm -hmm. All right, here you go. You can take out. Oh, all right. Should we introduce the first act? Yep, let's do it. All right, this is a really good one. First, starting today, we're going to be doing Lina and her mariachi band, Mariachi Mission. Give it up for them! <laughs>
from Mexico. So what do you have for us? I got something. Brenda, Natalie, and Emily will be performing a folklorico piece. I hope you all enjoy.
represented for black culture by singing a cover of At Last by Etta James. Make some noise. <laughs> Spanish and then I'm gonna do it in English. 
Um, and I'm in the process of writing a poetry <laughs> book that's going to be out in May. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> the title of the book is called Para Flores, and it's a bilingual poetry book for those who are lost in translation when grieving and loving in more than one language. And this one is called Comida. Comida. De un plato comen dos. Y es mejor que sobre a que falte. Las mejores comidas son las que se hacen con amor. O con la familia se comparte. Durante las fiestas. Qué ironía. En momentos de discordia también se ofrece un plato de comida. Para que sigamos viviendo. Food. From a plate, two can eat, and it is better to have more than less. The best meals are the one made with love and with family. What an irony. In moments of despair, a plate is also served so that we can keep living. Thank you. Yo soy inmigrante. Yo soy inmigrante porque no sé de dónde vine. Yo soy inmigrante porque no sé dónde estoy. Yo soy inmigrante porque no sé a dónde voy. Si nos ponemos a calificar lo que es un inmigrante, él, ella, ella, tú y yo, seremos llamados extraterrestres. Porque todos tenemos caras diferentes. Tendremos un pasaporte que diga extranjero. Una lista sin principio y sin fin. No es suficiente venir de la misma madre tierra, tener las mismas necesidades. Yo tengo hambre. ¿Tú no tienes hambre? ¿Qué es lo que tengo de diferente que tú no tengas? ¿Cómo eres mejor que yo si vivimos en el mismo mundo? Tu dinero no te hace mejor. Tu belleza no te va a garantizar la gloria en el cielo. Todos somos inmigrantes. No sabemos de dónde venimos, dónde estamos o a dónde vamos. Miren a los estudiantes que pasan por las calles confundidos en la vida. Sentamos la presencia de las personas que murieron para que nosotros tengamos este lugar y podamos estar juntos. ¿Eso nos hace diferente? ¿Cómo viven o cómo mueren? Yo soy igual que tú. Tengo hambre y tengo sueño. Amo y odio. Yo me muero como viví. El físico no te hace inmigrante. El corazón es el, que te, el, el corazón es el que te hace único, hermoso, diferente, inmigrante. Yo soy inmigrante. Tonight, I am not representing Maria Fernanda Marquez Adrianza, ni mucho menos Maria Ed Marquez. I am not representing any organization, or any letters, or any language, or any Greek letter that I don't even know how to pronounce. I am not representing where I came from, or where I'm going, because tonight, I am representing now. I am representing us. I am representing the immigrants that came from all over the world, to the United States. I am representing the fathers that left their family in search for a dollar to send back. The fathers that did not see their child come to life because they were lost in the dark night full of worries about how to pay the cost of labor. I am representing the mothers that are capable of taking a food out of their mouth so that their child can eat. I am representing the mothers that are willing to work seven days a week to keep the refrigerator full. 
The mothers that keep up with the household abuse because they are afraid of the unknown consequences of them seeking for help. I am representing the Latinas that could not graduate from high school because they got knocked up. The 41% of Latinas that do not graduate in college on time. The Latinas that fell in the machismo culture and let the men take control of their sexual life and overall freedom. The Latinas that did not have a chance to meet a baby daddy because they got drunk one night and missed their period two weeks after that one night stand. The Latinas that became murderers and killers because they could not afford to damage their family name but had enough to manage an abortion. The Latinas that are ashamed of their size and curse because they want to fit in the size zero society. The Latinas that by the age of 15, they want to act and look like 20. The alcoholics and the addicts, the addicts addicted to life itself. I am representing the struggle. But wait. Wait. <laughs> I am also representing the Latinas that were not afraid to call 911. The Latinas to say no. Beta carajo. The Latinas to tell the guy to get a condom. The young mothers that even though they are raising a king or raising themselves, they were able to accomplish their dreams. The four percent of Latinas that finish graduate school. The grandmothers that keep the native tradition going and the delicious food flowing. <laughs> the fathers across the border in search of the American dream, but did not abandon their family dream. The hustlers that fought for freedom and respect. The guys are not embarrassed to share the love for that one special girl and say, hey baby girl, I love you and only you. <laughs> I am my ancestor wildest dreams. I am no longer ni de aquí ni de allá. Yo soy de aquí y de allá. I am from here and there. We came all the way to live this moment, to be in this moment. I can still hear the whispers in the background saying, si se puede, si se puede. It is going to be possible. It will be accomplished. It doesn't matter the interpretation, just the creation of our own culture and our own history. Because tonight, I am not representing a language, a culture, a society, but a nation full of festivities, creativities, and traditions to share with no lines, no walls, no borders.
an artist. Okay. You know, that's actually perfect because next we will be traveling to the Bay Area to hear Paris, Emma, Javen, Nicholas, and Bruno. Yeah! Or
thank you so much, guys. They're all so talented. I know, right? That was amazing. All right. Up next, we will be traveling our farthest distance yet. No way. All right. Let's go. Where are we going? All right. The Bay Area again. Yeah. Go. Okay. Okay. Up next, we have Shima and Kuya, who will be performing a Bay Area hip hop dance.
individually, but let's hear about one person's ex experience with their culture with their spoken word. Yeah, well, looks like I got the perfect performance for that. Oh, it's Nala! Give it up for her! Latina. <laughs> I am not your spicy Latina. I am not here to add flavor and spice. I am here to ignite with passion, break barriers, and speak a beautiful language that will dance circles around your stiffing list. <laughs> I am from my mother, from her mother, from her mother, and from ancestors that are the strongest women ever. And I, as a matter of fact, I was manifested by those ancestors to live their wildest dreams, which is why I am here on stage. I am not only a spicy Latina that gets mad and, oh, watch out, there she goes again, the fiery, feisty Hispanic. And you know what, maybe I am feisty. I do explode with the colores de mi cultura mexicana y mi goya. I have a voice that will not and will never be silenced. I am a strong Mexican with rich history that people have tried to silence. They are not the saviors. We save ourselves and we save our own. I am an outspoken Mexican, what? And I speak a beautiful language that will dance circles around your stiff English.
what's wrong? It's just, we're on our last performance. Oh. I know, I'm so sad. Already? I know, who knew traveling around the entire world could go by so quickly? <laughs> so, let's see who's last. Yeah. Whew, another familiar face. We've got Dominique and her friends and family performing another Polynesian dance. Give it up. Let's learn how to say aloha in several different Polynesian languages. Ready? Aloha. Aloha. From Tahiti, Yorana. Yorana. From Samoa, Talofa. Talofa. From New Zealand, Kiora. Kiora. And then from the island of Tonga, Maloelele. Aloha, everyone.
Tess. And then special shout out to our tech crew. Thank you to Miss Torres and Kava Club for hosting the multicultural show. George and Olivia for having us.